naturally, you might find you're gaining a bit of air time whilst you're turning around between tacks. Transitions can be awesome. They make every time you turn around an exciting moment. So let's take a look at the basis of a solid transition. What we are looking for with this move is to achieve a nice bit of float followed by a decent exit at speed. To start with, it's essential we try to slow our current tack down big time. This angle is not what I'm after. Try reducing your speed by using your edge and visualize your upwind carve replicating this arrow. From above, we'll get a better view of what this carve should look like. Please note, I'm on the opposite tack now, but you should still get the idea. By directing our momentum hard into the wind, it makes it easier for us to engage the new tack. On board now and a great tip for you. Notice just how far I sheet my bar out as I'm carving into the wind. This relieves the tension from my body and gives me more freedom to direct my board upwind whilst the kite makes its way to 12. Sheet in just as you leave the water and stay sheeted in keeping the kite at 12. Only redirect on your way down. This shot here shows just how much you should be pointing the nose of the board into the wind on takeoff. You can also see I'm preparing for liftoff as the bar is on its way in. How you approach your landing has a huge effect on the success rate of a transition. Everything looks great at this moment, but watch the landing. I'm leaning way too much over my hillside edge and over my back foot, which results in a crash. Let's rewind things back and look at the difference between a good and bad transition landing. A successful landing comes by flattening off the board completely with your weight forwards. We must direct our board heavily downwind so we can get planing early. Looking good, but what about the landing? By presenting a hillside edge to the water, it's impossible to ride away in the direction that our kite is pulling us, downwind. So this is how it should look at speed, and if you really think you've got this nailed, I challenge you to stay in the air for three seconds. Start a new woo session on your woo, making sure it's in big air mode. And if you get that nice lifty float, you should see some results like this. 